G'day folks, welcome to another tutorial. Um, last time we looked at how to call an assembly function from C++. This time I want to go through the definitions of the fundamental integer types just to make sure that we're calling things the same. And uh, I just want to point out that C++ and assembly call the uh, integer data types different things quite often. So, well, let's go. Okay, the smallest amount of information on a computer is called the bit. It's short for binary digit. And as you're probably well aware, it's either a zero or a one. Um, most of the time computers don't use binary digits. I mean, you hear that computers always count in binary, but uh, in reality, saying that computers use binary is the same as saying that a carpenter uses atoms. Uh, in one sense, a carpenter does use atoms to build a house, but um, it's not very helpful to think like that. Usually, a computer uses um, bigger data types, or collections of bits. So, the smallest addressable amount of memory that a computer can use is called the byte. And the byte is 8 bits. And it looks something like this. There's not actually directions in memory, but the convention is to draw this from left to right, just like this. So here's our byte. And each box is a bit. This is um, bit number 0 over here. Um, bit number 1 beside it, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Bit 7 on the left. Okay, so that's a byte called a character in C++, or char. And the next data type is called the word. And a word is called um, a short int in C++. In assembly we call them words. A word is two bytes long, or eight, take it easy, or 16 bits. And it looks something like this. There we go. So uh, this is byte 1, or byte 0, sorry. Byte 0 and byte number 1 beside it. And that's our word. Um, the next is the double word, which is two words long for a total of 4 bytes or 32 bits. And the double word is what C++ calls an int, or integer, and it's exactly the same as the other ones, only it's twice as big, so here we have um, word 0 on the right, and beside it word 1, um, or that's, that's byte 0 there, right on the right side, and the very leftmost byte is called byte 31 of a double word. We usually call these D words as well. The short D word. Okay, the next is called the quad word. And the quad word is two D words or four words, hence the name, quad word, four words. Uh, it's eight bytes or 64 bits exactly the same as before, we've got uh, this is dword1 or dword0, sorry and this is dword1 and over here we've got bit number 0 and that goes all the way through, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 all the way through to bit number 63 on this very left hand side and that's also sometimes called a Q word and I think in C++ we call those long longs so, yeah, Q word. Okay, the next one is the um, XMM word. This has another name. I think I've sometimes heard it called a paragraph, but um, we'll call it an XMM word because it's um, the SSE XMM registers that we use to access this size. And the XMM word is, of course, um, two Q words long. 
it's four D words or a total of eight words, sixteen bytes, or a hundred and twenty eight bits. So the processors that we're using, the CPUs are called 64-bit processors, but um, it's interesting to note that actually they've got even bigger registers. The XMM word, for example, if you've got SSE, and you probably do, is uh, 128 bits long. And the final one that we're going to talk about is the YMM word. This is for um, AVX extension and uh, if you've got an Intel Sandy Bridge or AMD's bulldozer processors then you'll have access to YMM words and YMM words using the same logic as we had before is two XMM words in a row or four quad words for a total of eight D words or 16 words. It's also 32 bytes. Massive, massive variable. Or 256 bits. So, of course, it looks rather like this. And that's XMM word 0, and this is XMM word 1. Or of course we can split it into bytes if you like. Oh gosh, what have I done? Well, that would be um, in quad words. That's quad word 0, quad word 1, quad word 2, quad word 3. Or if we split it into words, oh sorry, double words, we've got double word 0 all the way through to double word 7, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so the other thing that we should go through is that um, each of these, starting from byte and going to quad word, have signed and unsigned versions. So, s well, first of all, unsigned just means that there's no negative and positive. So, an unsigned byte can't represent negative numbers. Instead, we use all eight bits to represent positive numbers. And since there's 256 combinations of uh, eight bits, the unsigned byte can range from zero all the way to 255. Or, in other words, from 0 to 2 to the power of 8 minus 1. So there's 8 bits. It goes from um, 0 to 2 to the power of 8 minus 1. That's the unsigned byte. So the signed byte, what happens is um, the leftmost bit of the byte is used to represent whether the number's negative or positive. Oh, sig, ned, oh, sig, ned, byte. Signed bytes. Okay, so what they decided to do was um, have half of the numbers, half of the 256 numbers as negative and about half of them as positive numbers. So the signed byte can range from negative 128 to 127, positive 127, which is um, negative 2 to the power of 7. Notice it's 2 to the power of 7 now because we're using one of the 8 bits as the signed bit to um, oops, positive 2 to the power of 7 minus 1. That's the signed byte. So, um, unsigned words. This is um, unsigned short integers in uh, C++. can range from 0 to 2 to the power of 16 minus 1, because I've got 16 bits. And signed words range from negative 2 to the power of 15 minus 1 because we're using um, 1 bit as a sign bit to positive 2 to the power of 15 minus 1 and of course we've got unsigned D words it's double words and they range from 0 to 2 to the power of 32 minus 1 gigantic number, 4 billion or something. And of course we have signed D words, which range from negative 2 to the power of 31 to positive 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. 
and the final one in 64-bit processors we've also got um, Q words. Oh, that should have been unsigned Q words. Okay, unsigned Q words. That says Q words there. I don't know if you're familiar with this letter, but it's meant to be a W. <laughs> okay, so um, unsigned Q words range from zero to. Um, 2 to the power of 64 minus 1 just a massive massive number anyway and signed keywords range from negative 2 to the power of 63 to 2 to the power of 63 minus 1 okay we're not going to go into exactly how negative numbers are represented but the leftmost bit is always the sign bit this one just here and um, computers use something called twos complement but we can go through that a different time that's the sign bit alrighty so that's the integer data types and uh, next time I think we could start going through the registers on the CPU and uh, hopefully that'll make a lot more sense now that we know what each of the integer data types are called Okay, thank you for listening.